Hi, I'm Henry, a presenter at Heathfield TV. It's been well over a year now since we've been able to broadcast and it's good to be back. We are currently working on a series of mini films that look at the issues of inequality. The first of these films focuses on the issue of racism and Izzy is going to tell us about how she's been getting her voice heard. But first, I'm going to hand over to Miss Barlow to look at how we address some of these issues here in the college. Equality is about ensuring that every individual has an equal opportunity to make the most of their lives and talents. It's also the belief that no one should have poorer life chances because of the way they were born, where they come from, what they believe, or whether they have a disability. Not only is this the right thing to do, but people who are treated fairly and have equal opportunity are better able to contribute socially and economically to the community to enhance growth and prosperity. An equal and fair society is likely to be safer by reducing entrenched social and economic disadvantage. Currently in our society, not everyone has the same opportunity or life chances, but we do all have an ability to make a difference where we can. We can choose to look away, deny or protect our own privileges, or we can open our eyes, educate ourselves and support others. Huge progress has been made, but there is still a long way to go. We understand the issues. We want a world where every individual has the chance to achieve their potential. We choose to be part of the solution. Hi, I'm Izzy Withers and I'm 15 and I'm a singer-songwriter and I'm a student here at Heathfield. Over the last few months, I've been involved in activism work at rallies and protests. I sing and I write my own songs, so I've performed a few of my original songs at them as well. Um, in Hastings, I sung and talked at the Hastings Rally Against Racism, and that was the first protest I did. And then I moved on to a protest in London, in Vauxhall Pleasure Gardens, and I sung and spoke there as well. The reason why I started protesting and being involved in rallies is because I feel like I wanted to spark change. We live in quite a monocultural town and people don't really see some of these issues that are so important firsthand. It can change society slowly, but the power of the people is really important and it does change things. And I think you become so united by protests, you go home, feeling like you've done something, feeling like the world is going to be a better place and I think that is why it's so important and I feel like I've learnt so much and I feel like I've grown a lot as a person from protesting. So what does that look like within our curriculum? Reading of Mice and Men helped put into perspective the different types of discrimination shown in the 1800s to the compared to today. Noughts and Crosses helped us understand the troubles that people of colour go through every day. We cannot fully understand what, what it's like to be part of these minority groups, but it helps us understand it just a little bit more. So in Year 8 we look at blues music. Blues music is all linked to slavery and how the slaves at the time used to sing music to try and make them feel part of a group. And so it's all linked to 1800s music. Uh, in Key Stage 4 we start to have a look at some samba music and the music of Rio and also we look at African cultures with an, a, a song called Afro-Celt Sound System which fuses African cultures with popular cultures and then when we look into A level we start to have a look at jazz and how then jazz has influenced lots of different musical genres and again has links to blues music. So an important thing about history is how we tell different stories. So for example, if we're teaching about the First World War, it's important that we include stories not just of British soldiers, but of soldiers from France, Canada, South Africa, India. Of course, in history, we also teach about the Holocaust and the slave trade, and those topics enable discussions with our students about racism, persecution, discrimination. But it's also really important in history to celebrate achievement. And so when we look at the slave trade, we also look at the stories of enslaved people who made such a huge impact in trying to abolish that slave trade in the 19th century. Equality is an issue for all of us. 
I believe in equality for all. Who wants to live in a society that's not diverse? Without a diverse community, we would not have such an innovative and creative society. We are all different. Equality, equality is vital to a happy, healthy life. I want to uh, live in a world and work at a school that celebrates difference. Of all our differences. We are all human. Everyone should feel loved in their community. No one human life is worth any more or any less than any other. I believe in equal rights for everyone. Let's treat everyone equal. Let's all do our part by treating everyone with respect. I believe in equality. We must use our privilege to speak for those who cannot. No matter who they are. Diversity should be appreciated, not disrespected. We believe racism should stop. I'm standing against racism. Everyone, Everyone is equal. I believe in being a role model for LGBT plus peoples. Love is love. Just because someone's physically disabled doesn't mean they're any less of a person than you or I. Not all mental disabilities are visible. We should all be treated the same. We all should be treated equally. We're all the same inside. I hope that one day in the future women don't have to be judged because of their gender. I'm fully committed to fighting equality. There is diversity and community. Hate is a choice. Don't ignore issues because they make you feel uncomfortable.